Hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is a live stream recorded with a live audience. If you're watching the recording, you're going to want to fast forward about 10 15 minutes. I give time for my friends to get in, we chit chat, catch up, and then we get started with the show or the project, or in this case, a huge unboxing from 13 Arts all the way from Poland. Welcome to all my viewers, those up in the clouds. Those watching the recording and those live here in chat. Hello, Sissy Poo. Love to you. Love to all my lurkers up there. Put my glasses on. Can you hear me and see me okay? Daddy, can you guys uh, hear me and see me okay? Oh no, honey, that I well, I had to go for testing today. I had to go for x rays and blood tests and all the, the usual stuff. Because it's all done through um, all my doctors uh, and that uh, uh, up here are all affiliated through the same hospital and network and everything. So some of my stuff is done at the hospital. So when I go there, you know, they put a band on you even though you're an outpatient. Um, so. <laughs> no, you guys would know if I was in the hospital. And if I was, I probably wouldn't be here now. <laughs> uh Yes, honey, I'm okay. I'm fine. I just had to go for my normal blood tests and uh, uh, work work up and stuff. They take like uh, 20 some vials from me. Hold on a minute. Uh, yeah, they, they usually take about uh, 20 to 25 vials of blood. They take a urine sample and, and I go for x-rays and Awesome. It's all part of my lovely life that I go through. I have to schedule my, my yearly ma'am, too, so that's coming up. Hello, sweet Vicky. Hi, Kunawin. And here's my lovely boy. Show your face. Show him how handsome. He went and got a haircut today. Oh, yeah, my new haircut. <laughs> He's yeah. looking very military. Yeah. Very, very, you know... Uh, woo woo! <laughs> Very handsome. <laughs> Did you get my text? No. Oh, you texted me. What you? Yeah. Text? Oh, about the thing. Yeah, I asked you what you were gonna get. Oh yeah, I was well, a seeker because it's for you, but you know. Oh okay. All right. Well, then you have to show me when you get it done. Mm. My son's going for his first tattoo this weekend. Yeah, they shot down my first idea. They say that's not gonna work on your arm. It's too big. It's not gonna look. It's gonna look like shite. Well then. Choose something else. I'll love it either way. <laughs> well, no, I'm just going to get that other thing done on my chest, but I'll wait for that. Okay. But I'll love it. Uh, yeah, you, you rolling that back out? Or no? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to lock the door because, you know, the child. Yeah, I just don't want to bother you and your stream. I know you guys are having your <laughs> Well, they love time. you. The girls love you, so they like to say Thank hi. Thank you, guys. Hey. <laughs> All right. The son loves his mama, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's very, he's looking very dapper at the moment. Speaking of haircuts, I need to go chop all mine off. I'm about over it already. Thank you. Yeah. He, that's my baby right there. That's the one you guys always see. But you usually he has, you know, his hair's longer and he's not clean shaven. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's, that's my baby. 
for sure. He's his, he's a mama's boy. Oh, that's why he didn't know I got his text because I sent, press send and I didn't press send all the way. <laughs> yeah, my oldest son got, uh, because I love turtles, most of you who have been following me for the longest time know that I love turtles. And so my oldest son, when he was, uh, well, he was what, 18 or 19, he's got um, on his arm, I have a picture of it, but I don't know if I have it on my phone. So he's got on his one um, bicep. A picture of a of a turtle, and um, and it says "Mama" on it. So now my youngest son is going to get something for me. You know, babies love their mama. Can't help it. So, how is everybody doing today? Lainey, I did get your um, response text back to me. I just haven't had a chance to respond to it. Um, but if you want to, um, uh, I'm sending out, where are they? Last night we did postcards. And if you want to uh, tell me which three colors you want and which uh, doodle designs, if you look at last, if you just like scroll through last night's video without watching the whole thing and just get to the part where you can see the open book of the numbers of the videos and just tell me what colors you want um i'll create you a postcard and I'm, i'll add you to the to the grouping i was working on some of those before i started the the thing but i thought you might want like to get a, a card and what i'm doing with them is so you guys know it's going to be very professional <laughs> so i'm taking the card and So the card is going to be, so like this is a completed one. So this is on watercolor paper. And then I'm going to take the card and I'm going to put it inside. I'm going to, uh, you know, attach it down to inside a card here. And then so, and then I might write a little something inside. And then this is, and then, so it becomes a card. And then it's going to go in an envelope like that. So, you know, make it all nice and pretty and, You can, uh, I can do, if you want to request me to send one to somebody else too, I can do that. Um, but definitely I'd like to send one to you. Hi, Tara Love. How are you, honey? Okay, um, last night you weren't here, but if you want to just scroll through the video really quick and get to the part where I show my open book of, of my doodlings and you want to pick um, a, a three doodles and tell me what colors you want, I'll send you a, a doodling, a postcard. Card. Postcard card. <laughs> oh, and don't worry, that other thing we talked about, that's still in the back of my mind. I'm still going to uh, get that done. I just haven't had a chance to. No, it's not a swap. It's I, I was It was my birthday gift to all of you. Um, so... How are you doing? How's the hubby? What's the prognosis then? Oh, thank you, Lainey, honey. No worries. 
Love to you, my friend. I mean, what does that mean that you guys are gonna have to put her down, or or what? Um, I, I don't know what that means. I didn't look that up. I know it's not something good, but um, impaired coordination can have causes that are due to underlying disease. Um, impaired balance and coordination. Due to damage to brain, nerves, and muscles. Um, yeah, I'm reading that now. I'm reading about it. It's okay, but we'll progressively get worse. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm reading. Um has no cure um oh. oh honey I'm so sorry oh oh honey I'm so so sorry I wish I was there to give you a hug. Uh, hold on, my son. You're coming. What? Sorry, this is the last time. I no, that's my, okay. I forgot my belt name. Okay. Somewhere down here. Hello. Back away. Okay, I'm just laying like <laughs> Yeah, Tara. Love and hugs, honey. I am so sorry to hear that. Yeah, that sucks. How old is she, uh, Macy? Or Maisie? Is it uh, pronounced Maisie? Well, if you need anything, honey, let me know. I don't know what help I can I can give, but I mean what you know what I can do for you. But if you need help with anything, you know, she's 11. Oh, so at least she's had you know she didn't get it so early on. I mean, not that it's good at any point, but you know, at least she's had a you know at least a full life and everything. So yeah, just make her comfortable. And like I said, if you need anything, you know few dollars here or there or whatnot or yeah absolutely Tara don't worry about it love that's what we're all here for supporting each other no matter what it is <clears throat> yeah you don't you don't worry about it my friend and I'm here for you love and hugs to you and your husband and, and Maisie for sure all right well it's 15 minutes in um, you're welcome dear like I said let me know if you just need somebody to talk to, you know, let me know. We'll, we'll talk about it, okay? Let's um, let's see what's in this bad boy. Now it's I got I ordered this two months ago, so like I know what's in it, but I don't remember everything I ordered, and I haven't looked at it since it walked in the door, like when I posted that I was gonna go live. 
like an hour ago. So I don't know what's all in here. So we're gonna we're gonna open this bad boy up. I know we're gonna have a bit of play with some of the stuff that's in here. Because some of it I know what's in here. <laughs> yeah, this is a birthday to myself considering I ordered it two months ago and I just got it. Let's see which, which side do I want to... I don't know if I want to turn it upside down. Of course, I mean, for, for, for ha having tra tra traveled from Poland and um, the box is a little crushed in that corner. It probably didn't have enough packing right there, but... Um, the, the box is in great condition having traveled all the way. It did have, I, I am a little concerned about this one side though because it did have a break right there. But, if I didn't get all my stuff, I'm sure they will ship me out what I was supposed to get. So, but other than that, everything looks like it's in there. It looks like, I don't know, it looks good. We'll see. We shall see. Two months waiting for this bad boy. And it, what's really crazy, <laughs> yeah, I, it might have just happened today because um, it didn't come in my regular mail delivery today. If I was home at 2 o'clock and mail runs about between 1 and, and 2 and the mail was already ran today. Um, so when I got home from the doctors and all, all that for my testing and stuff, because uh, I was giving it till today, because I ordered two months ago, and I was giving it till mail run today, and then I was contacting 13 Arts back to say, hey, can you guys help me out? And, you know, um, look, look at the, the, the tracking again, because a lot of it's in Polish, and I don't worry about the lights. It'll come back on. Um, if not, I'll go reset the breaker. My son's not home. My daughter-in-law is. Um, I'm like, you know, I'm e I mean, emailed her like, I don't know, an hour before the package arrived. <laughs> I'm like, if this not, if it's not there today when I get home from the doctors, I'm going to email them and see what's up. Because I knew with the COVID and stuff that it was going to take a while to get here, you know, uh, coming all the way from Poland. But I, I was having a hard time because the tracking, like it said it left Poland, okay, about two weeks after um, I ordered it. So, you know, all, traveled all through Poland and it had left the docks. Um, so we knew that it had left Poland. But then from there, I couldn't see on the secondary tracking site uh, where it was because all the language was in Polish or some other language that I couldn't read. And I was having Marta even help me. And we couldn't see, it wasn't giving any updated information of where it was at. Um, in the states or anything, so we had no way. So that's why I emailed her today, and then no lie, an hour later, my son comes in with, "Mom, here's your here's a package for you." I looked, I was like, "Holy crap, it came!" <laughs> so I emailed her right back. I said, "Disregard, disregard," because <laughs> I had already emailed them. I'm like, where's my, you know, can you help me out? So, da -da -da -da. drum roll, please. <sighs> okay, I know I know what this is. Hello. Hi Christine. Can you all hear me and see me now? Hi Sherry. Can you guys hear me? there she okay good. Hi sweet Vicky. Okay. Where did you guys uh where did I leave you at? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. I, yeah, the, when the second when the lights went out for the second time, my uh, uh, daughter-in-law hit the switch for that controls that um, the electric to our cable box. <laughs> so the cable box was reset uh, at the very start. Had I opened the box yet? <laughs> I don't know where I lost you. Tell me where where I where I am because I haven't really opened anything, but. Um, I don't know what you guys got to see and what you guys didn't get. I haven't opened anything really, but um, I did you just opened it. Okay, so my primer uh, went through the ringer 
as it had to travel two months okay so um, but again it had to travel two months so do not base the mess but they did take care in packaging it they put it in a plastic bag so um, and this is the stuff that Marta uses from Marami Small Art so uh, don't base this mess on uh, yeah just don't base this. They took care in packaging it, so I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt and the fact that Marta uses this stuff all the time. Uh, it can't be bad. you got to remember this package took two months to get here. <laughs> yeah. So this is the, I got their regular gesso, the white regular gesso to compare, and the clear gesso to compare. So we will definitely work with those uh, on Saturday. Give those a, a go and see what that's all about. Okay. This is going in the garbage. Da -da -da -da. Okay. <sighs> all right. Put that over there. I'll open this because I, I know what this is, but I don't remember all that I ordered. I know I didn't order these. These must be a, a freebie of some sort, but these are assorted colors, decorative crystal hearts. So for, they're for mixed media, but uh, they're, uh, let me bring you guys down to maybe a little bit. about that much okay all right let's leave it at that yeah so I've got some uh, crystal plastic plastic crystal hearts in here um, decorative crystal hearts so for um, mixed media so probably I didn't order these so they got to be some sort of freebie of sorts what this is all about. Nice bag. They do package their stuff well. I will give them that. So these are A6 card sets. We're going to open them up because they're just too pretty to not look at. Very uh, vintage, you know. You saw Dragonfly. Let's switch one. Okay, that one's a like a. That one's writing. This is just stripes. It's like I got a clock. Oh, butterfly. Now, these are for card bases, but you know I won't use them that way. I might. I, I doubt it, though. <laughs> these will be uh, paper I use um, in uh, my collage. And backgrounds and stuff. Yeah, this is very. I love all these papers. And then I think they get. Oh, you get two of each. Is that what it is? Uh, twelve designs, two of each. Okay, so that's that pack. Okay. That's pack number one. Let's put that over there. Um, again, it's the same kind of thing, but a different one. Okay. 
blue, more pretties. I have good taste, don't I? I love all the, like, you know, this stuff. Hi, Sue! Well, this isn't Marta order. This is a 13 Arts order. Marta's orders really quick, but again, because of the COVID, it might take a little longer. Typically, I would, I would say about a week and a half uh, to get uh, Marta's orders. Um, yeah, and that starts it all over again. Um, Marta's typically really, really quick coming, uh, she's in Ireland, um, so if you order from her, you'll get it within like a week and a half, two weeks. Yeah, this is very vintage, I love, I love both of these so far. Um, um, so let's see, this is a stencil, love it, look at all the writing, and this one's, um, a, a sewing pattern stencil, look at that. You guys know how I am about my sewing pattern. Oh, so glad this finally came. Love that. Love that. Then, love it, love it, love it. Look at this one. Now this is, these are six by six paper pads. And you get, again, 12 designs, so you'll get two of each. Their papers feel really nice, too. They're not too thick. They're not too thin. Look at that beautiful piece of paper. Pretty, pretty. A drooling emoji, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that pretty teal color. Oh, that's pretty. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, look at that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Again, writing. Yep. <laughs> slopper, slopper. <laughs> Yeah, all these papers are pretty. Oh, can't wait. We're going to have some fun on Saturday with this stuff. Lots of yum-yums. And then it starts all over again. But, yeah, we will be using uh, stuff from this. Yeah, we've got, I've got, I've got so much stuff for us to, uh, I've got, between this and my Xander order, um, We've got a lots of new stuff to work on in the studio, so we've got a lot of a lot of stuff to have fun with. Um, a lot of projects coming up. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff uh, I'm working on uh, in the background. So, um, so this is called Grungy Walls. Again, six by six, 12, 12 designs. You get two of each. Look at that yumminess. Love it. <laughs> we're alert, yeah. <laughs> I get, I yeah, I'd forgotten which one, what I had ordered, and um, and I stopped looking at my order a long time ago when I knew it was going to be like forever until I got it. Um, this is like um, um, it's like ledger paper. Um, it's got all kinds of numbers on it, but it's very like grungy. <laughs> yeah, they've got beautiful papers. These, uh, along with, um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, they just all be look uh, really nice together. Whatever the other company is, I'm trying. Oh, Stamperia. These uh, combined with those would be, oh, I can't wait to do that. 
Looks so pretty. Pre oh, look at that one. Oh, yeah. See, I like all that. Oh, peeling paint and stuff and with the flowers and the, oh, yum, yum. Did I skip one? Oh, that was one. There's that. <laughs> oh, and I, and I got some pictures from Sue that I'm going to be pulling. She sent me some pictures. Oh, oh, they sent me napkins. I don't know, did I order napkins? Hold the phone. I don't remember ordering napkins. Oh, I did. I did order napkins. <laughs> okay, cool. Huh. They do package their stuff very well. Um, how do I? Where is this at? Yeah, they're very. They take very a lot of care in packaging each of the items that you choose to order. So, um, so there's that one. I do have good taste. Love this one. Yep. Oh. If I see a painting happening with this one for sure. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Drool Central. Okay. So I'll put those away in a minute. We'll put that over there. But I got rice paper, naturally. Oh, I think this is rice paper. Maybe this isn't rice paper. What is this? This is uh, A4, oh, this is just scrapbooking paper, A4 size. I had to get a little bit of everything that I, because I wanted to try out uh, all their different products and how it compares. Oh, this is nice paper. Oh, and it's kind of, it's kind of like, oh, wow. I might have to order some more of this. It's it's very thin, but it's got like a a soft feel. It's like a it's kind of like it's shiny cardstock. It's got a little bit of a sh see how it's got a little bit of shimmer. It's got a little bit of gloss. It's not glossy, but it's shiny and it's um it feels very nice. I don't know paper they use, but I like it. Oh, this would be nice to jelly bear with. I wonder if they have blank. I might have to order some blank ones. Did I order some blank ones? I don't know. I ordered a bunch of stuff. But, but I wonder if they have blank paper. I would love to order some blank paper and do some jelly printing with my jelly printing stuff. Could you imagine on this paper? This is pretty, though. See all the designs? We're going to use this in a painting or something or something of something. Coming soon. Stay tuned. Project coming, coming, coming soon to a channel near you. Okay, so there's that. And then, oh, some more paper. I don't know. Oh, 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 yes, more paper. Oh yes. I don't know if this is the same kind of paper, but maybe. Let's see. This feels this feels a little bit sturdier. This does feel like a uh, regular scrapbooking paper. Unlike that one. That one's a little bit thinner. This one feels a little bit more sturdy, but look at the designs. Very vintage. Look at that. Like wallpaper. Mm-hmm. I like it. Oh, get away from you. Oh. oh, oh, pretty. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. This, this is getting cut. I can see this already. This is going to get cut up and it's going to go into a, a painting or a dark journal page of sorts. Yeah, for sure. 
this this will not uh, yeah this will not last same with this one yep this is going to become a painting yep I can see oh look at that oh this one I'm going to have to split I'm going to have to split it because I like the, the front and the look at that prettiness oh look at these for cards pretty pretty oh that would be pretty or even on journal pages mm -hmm, mm -hmm. love the back yep 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 I'm going to have to work on splitting all of these. Look at this one for a background. Or parts of it for background. Yep. Pretty, pretty. Again, background piece. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to split all these. I hope they will be forgiving when I try to split them. This is very nice. You could even put this on journal pages. But definitely a scrapbook page. But uh, I don't do scrapbooking. So we know that that's going to become... Uh, painting of sorts or journal work. Love this. Got stamps and writing and all that kind of good stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is Elements. So this will definitely get uh, chopped up for sure with all the butterflies and the vintage stuff. Mm -hmm. Bird ha bird uh, houses. Uh huh. Yes, sorry, Bob. Uh huh. Yes, sorry, Bob. Okay. So that's that. That can put over there for now. What are these? Oh, these were transparencies. Let me see. What are, what, what did they call these? Um, um, oh, transparent foil and foil transparent. I don't know what the difference is, but uh, well, this is transparent printed foil vintage flowers. I don't know what that means, but... A lot of this stuff was um, on sale or whatever, or I thought was cheap, so I I bought it. Um, okay. Well, I don't know if you. I guess I mean it's the size of scrap of paper, and you can see. Mm, let me get something. Uh, see, it's got lovely design on it. Floral. And, um, and bits, and it's, um, I wonder if this, if it's just a thing or if it's rub-on. doesn't scratch off. It just says, transparent printed foil, made in Poland, designed by so-and-so. But it doesn't say... I don't know. It'll get used. We'll figure it out. I don't know. No, no, no. I don't know how we're supposed to use it, but we will figure it out for sure. There's another one with butterflies. So, this one, same thing. Just a bunch of butterflies. I love it. So, that will come up. This was the other one that I loved because it had all the, the different line work and stuff. And the different little, you know, I'm. A, this is the kind of stuff I love writing and different bits and stuff. It's kind of like, oh, so yum yum. You know, this one just, I don't know, transparent print foil. It's not foil though, it's a plastic. So I wonder, if you, I wonder if what happens if you heat it. I don't know, we're going to find it. We're going to figure out what it's for. All right, now. Get this we're at the bottom of the box, I think. Okay. okay. Now, this. This is the big part of uh, oh, the angels are singing. This is powdered metallic watercolor. It's called Color Glow. I didn't get all their colors, but I picked a good portion of them. How many did I get? 10, 5, 10, 13. And we are going to swatch these babies 
And uh, you can do all kinds of things. Look at all those pretty, pretty colors. Yes. But, yes, they're metallic, too. Uh, they're a new product on the market. So, not a lot of people have them, unless you're in Poland, I'm sure. And they might have, a lot of people there might have them. But we here in the States, you, you probably, uh, a lot of people, I have not seen a lot of people on YouTube have them. But if you go to 13R's YouTube channel, you will see that they have obviously used them. And there's a couple videos out there. <sighs> Look at powdered watercolor. Comes in a powder form. So it's kind of like uh, Lindy's. Now, um, I, I, they're not, um, I don't think they're permanent. That was the one thing. Um, but neither is regular watercolor, so, you know. But, uh, yeah, we're going to test these babies out. Yeah. So, new or product on the market. We're going to see what these babies can do. We will definitely play with them for sure. And, you know, I'll probably end up jelly plating with them, too, just a little bit. We're going to see how sparkly these things are. But that, my friends was the oh moment of the box. Um, definitely need a big picture. Let me just focus on this one. All right. Put this away. Now we need, I need a brush. I need a brush. Which brush do I want to use? Oh, this one. This one. Yeah, that might be, yeah, I don't know. This, uh, we'll use this brush. Oh, my water's clean. Ooh, that one don't look clean. Oh, I gotta go get some clean water. I'll be right back. You cannot heat the plastic sheets. Use the, use with alcohol ink or markers. Great haul. Thank you, Susan. The great, and thank you for the information. Okay, so we use with uh, markers. Okay, well, markers I have. Um, and then we'll, we can cut them up and they can become design elements on maybe I might, and I have my, I might do um, a true mixed media project. Would we like that? I mean, I have some elements, I, and I think I can I have a canvas, one canvas around here somewhere. Not I can order one, but uh, I don't I don't I don't think I've done a regular canvas in a long long time. Would we like that? I don't know. I'll be right back while you guys think about that. I'm gonna get us some clean water. What the heck? What? Why is this box in front of my door? do that stuff was on the floor ah. you know I thought I ordered more than one stencil let me check my my packing slip okay so I got that 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 Okay, I guess I only did order one stencil. Well, I have to go back and see if they have plain plain paper like that one. So if I have to place another order, I'll probably order another stencil or two or whatever. But I uh, guess I didn't originally. But, you know, whatever. Oh, all right. Let's see. 
<sighs> okay, markers and pens. Okay. All right. So now that I have clean water, let's see what these colors look like. Let's see. Are you down all the way? Let's bring you. Bring you down as far as you can go. Come on. All right, that's as far as you're going to get. Hi, Shelly. All right. Let's see. Let's start with the yellow. This one is called Amber. Well, I have to remember that they were thrown around in a, in a packing box for two months. So that's not good. I don't know. I think I need to have one, one uh, sheet for catching. And one second, please. Piece of regular printer paper. Do a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, help with these things first. Now oh, my hand is getting very metallic-y. It's gonna be bright, guys. That pretty color. Nice golden yellow. Oh, yeah, that is pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna see what it, see what they dry up like. But well, you can already see the shimmer on that. Let's see what that dries up like. I can tell you, my hand is already shimmering. Okay. Right over there. Get out this. It's a very pretty color. Um, yeah. Very pretty golden yellow, and it's it's shiny. And it hasn't even dried yet. Okay, so that's yellow. Then let's go to the greens. Two greens and a teal. Yeah. Okay. So we will do them in order. So that we don't have any mess with them. Magicals, the powder is very deceiving. This is a brown powder, but yet it's going to be the color of green. So keep that in mind. Should you order these, that uh, the color that you see is not the color you're going to get. But they have nice, their caps are nicely 
colored. Maybe it is. Why does it say green? Tiger's eye. You see, that's retarded. See how it says green? But it's not. It's a brown. It is the color of the... That's interesting. So the caps are deceiving. Don't buy it. go by the color of the cap. Go by the color of the powder, apparently. I mean, it's a beautiful color, but that's weird. Very, very weird. Again, I say very, very weird. Still a beautiful color. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see no green in there. This is not green. This is, I mean, the powder is very much a, a brown, um, almost, a, and it has like, like a, uh, I would say like a, a, not a platinum, but a, uh, like a, 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 a bronzy uh, tone to it. And the color is coming out very brown. Let's do this. Let's do something. Let's do this. Yeah, but it's not. It's, um, I don't know. Let's give it a good shake. See what happens when we shake it up. And now all the particles are shaken up. I'll do it like I did the yellow. Get it nice and wet first. Nope, it's still a rich brown color. No matter how you slice it. Hmm. Nope, it's brown. Very shiny, very pretty, but it's brown. It is not green. That's very strange. Yeah, but it's almost got like a, uh, a pewter or like um, a metal tone to it. I don't know. It's still a pretty color. Definitely. <laughs> okay. Now, apparently, this one's supposed to be... Well, the name of that one, by the way, was Tiger's Eye, which the brown makes sense if it's called Tiger's Eye. This one is called... And a lucite. Um, and it's a very silvery powder. So I'm assuming, well, I'm assuming it's going to be silver, but who knows. All I know is my hands are going to be very uh, shimmery by the time I'm done. Look at all the shimmer in my jar. This stuff is very potent. Hmm. 
That's a brown too. I know there's a couple videos on this stuff and it might be, let's do something. Hmm. Let's do something. Let me Hi gigs. Yellow one's called Amber. Get out my mini mister. I sprinkled a little bit on the paper. Okay, so in, in, in the powder, mixed in this powder, there is different particles of color. There's a blue and a pink in there uh, and a, like a purple. So I could see how you might get a different... Uh, Oh, now see, here this one, you do see when it dries, oh, oh, this one now, if I rock it, ooh, I don't want to drop that all over the place, uh, let me see, now this is the one I just did, the one that has the silver powder, if you see, it, it is two-toned, are you guys getting that flash of silk, let me try it, yeah, right there. So you see how it is brown, but it's got like a silver tone to it? This one? Yeah. This one has a metallic silver tone to it. So now let's see. This paper is already wet. But I see specks of, of, of like a, a purple or a dark blue in there. So this powder... But I see, yeah, I see silver in there now. So the silver is the overtone. The, the brown I did over here has like a gold overtone. This one has the silver overtone. This one has a light uh, overtone, the tiger's eye. Oh, no, this is the third one because that was the first one I did of that one. Okay. So this one didn't get very, this one didn't carry very much. This is the lighter one of that one. Um... This one, the, with the dark pigment, holds more of that gold tone. This one has a little bit. This one, the more pigment, the more pigment you use, you definitely get that flash of color. Here, I'll show you guys. And it does have specks of silver in there. That's where it's, it's coming at. So you just gotta, you just gotta wait for it to dry. So, hold up. All right. Yeah, I'm just doing it as a swatching right now, um, that, but that's what I would do. Um, but so, okay, so see, here's the yellow that we did. And if I rock it, you get a big flash um, of gold in there. You can see how shimmery it is. See, now that it's drying up, you see the, the flash of silver when I rock it, or the gold, right? And then this is the... The next one, which was the tiger's eye, which is the brown, if I rock that one just right, you should be able to get some uh, hints of the gold that are in there. Let's see. Yeah. Trying to rock it so you guys can see it. It's always hard with metallic. 
but it's there. And then de definitely see, you can definitely see the silver in there now, this one. Oh, I can't get that brown to flash. But it's there, trust me. This one has this one has a flash of it has gold in it. You can definitely see it up front or up close. This one. Oh, we're getting it a little bit there. Right in through here. But the silver overtone on this one is very strong. And the gold on this one is very strong. This one I might not have done as strong as it should it could be, but uh, it's definitely there. That's interesting. Okay, so that one is Andalusite. If I'm pronouncing that right, I don't know. And I know you can mix these with uh, your mediums. Um, yeah. Oh, I wanted to give it um, also, let's see something. I wonder how permanent these were. Move a little bit. They're not moving a lot. So that's good. Alright, next one. Let's do this one. This one's emerald. So, and I would think, oh, maybe is that what it, oh, that's what it is. The colors are on the back. Yep, the colors are on the back. A little swatch in the back. I'm just going to scoot this in real quick so you guys can see the actual color swatch there. And then this is the second one. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but up close I can tell. So like this one with the silver on it, you can see that it's got blue and pink in the mix. See, this little swatch has got blue and pink in the mix. That's interesting. Okay, so this one is a green and teal color. So, let me put you back. And you gotta remember that these are only doing this pack with the with the the, the powder on the outside right now because they were came over from Poland and it took two months to get here. So with all the shuffling from different you know carrier to different carrier to different carrier, yeah, I'm not surprised that um, some of the products uh, got a little shooken up and discombobulated. But that doesn't surprise me in the least. All right, and you and you would put out a little bit of this on your on a palette and work it from there. So just gonna dip into there, and nice vibrant. Uh, it's a uh, what is that? Yeah. Straight off the top, it comes in as a, a shamrock green. I'm going to put some more color in there. So we can see how it, the teal comes in at. It's very pretty when you get a lot of that teal in there. It's very shamrock green. So we'll see how that dries up. I want to see what it does. Okay. So I like that one. So far, I like them. Colors are different than, um, okay. I gotta find a home or a drawer to put these in. Okay, so now let's do some, uh, some of the pinks here that we have, or what I think. Well, so this is a pink. This is a true pink. This is a coral red. I'm excited about that one. This one is a golden calcite. It's called, and it's a very it's supposed to be like a dark maroon. Um, this one's definitely a purple. It's got a little bit of blue uh, 
hitting it. So we'll save that one. Let's see what color is this one. This one's very pink as well. So we'll do these next. Um, let me get... Yeah, but these, um, they use artist grade material to um, create these. I'm like eyeshadow. Uh, okay, so this one's not uh, messy, so that's good. So not all of them got shooken up as much as we think. That was a lot of powder, but that's okay. I want just uh, nice, nice rich colors. I will give them that. Um, and they move real good. See how that one dries up. Yeah, this is the golden calcite, which is like a, a coppery. Yeah, this one's going to have a lot of copper in it. I can already see it. This one is like hot pink. This is like hot pink eyeshadow, like hot pink prom night pink. If you like hot pink, you will probably like this color. Oh yeah, look at the brush already turning like pink. Oh yeah. Ooh, it is. Ooh, it's nice and corally. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. It is a coral color. I love it. And it is bright though. Ooh, that's bright. <laughs> this. Oh, I can't wait to see that one dried up. Okay, that one's going to be... That one's going to be a, a nice, nice, nice color. I love that, and I'm loving the yellow. Yum, yum. Okay, let's see how that how that dries up. Look at the swirly of my water. Look at, yeah, see all that mica swirling around in there? Mm. Even the water's pretty. Okay, let's um, let this dry. Let's get a different sheet of paper. I've let that dry. <laughs> Oh, this is pretty too. Oh, yeah. This is a pretty color. Very magenta. Oh, yeah. They're just like watercolors. They're just in a powder form. We will have, uh, we'll be mixing some here in a minute. I just want to get all the colors swatched so we can see what they are. And I'm making a mix over here. Oh, I almost had a mess. Um, because I'm not really putting this back in the jar because, um, yeah. We'll probably have mud at the end of the day, but who knows. Hi, Belinda. Have these? Oh, 
Oh, yeah. And you know what? A lot, a little goes a long way. And I can see, and a lot of these, when you put them down, you can see the different pigment particles. Like this has a blue in it along with the purple. Oh, uh, yeah. That's pretty. Good look at that. Goes from like a, got like a little bit of purple and pink and blue and it's all shimmery and nummy. Oh. This is a little more mauve in color, and um, it's got some blue undertones to it. Um, yeah, this one's definitely more mauve. Um, this one's definitely got uh, hints of red undertone and blue overtones, um, but, uh, but it's a darker purple. This pink, it's, it's, it's going to, it's, I don't know if it's gold or copper overtone as the metallic that's coming up. I, I don't know which yet. Can't quite tell. But it's one of them. Yeah, this one, this one's, this one, the blue is the shimmer on this one. I think this one might have either a gold or a pink shimmer. Loving that pink one too. Oh, very, um, I would say very, uh, like midnight blue. Um, uh, yeah. And, um, yeah. Very midnight blue. Not as dark, but it's very much in that color family. And see, they stain right away though. Um, but this is not regular watercolor paper. This is um, the Arteza mixed media paper. So um, I'll have to try it on regular watercolor paper to see how it behaves. Um, This one, the shimmer is purple. This one, the shimmer is blue. I'm in the U.S. Yeah, you just go to 13arts.com, but I will tell you, it took two months for the order to get here. Now, that's probably not customary, but that's, it's due to the COVID, okay? So, um... Don't expect your order, I don't know, like that, um, to, you know, you probably might get it in, you know, we're at the end, you know, COVID has gotten a little bit better, so, you know, you might see it in six weeks, but don't expect it anytime soon, you know, don't expect it two weeks from now. Um, you might get lucky, um, but if you are in the U.S., it's going to take a while for it to get here. Anything coming uh, to the U.S. from overseas, regardless of where it's coming from, is taking a while um, because of where, you know, it took two months. Yesterday was exactly two months to the day that I made the order. 
has nothing to do with the the uh, people that you're ordering from. It just has to do with the the shipping and the mail people. And only oh, that is beautiful. Oh, look at that. Um, it's all due to the COVID. I wonder what kind of uh, I wonder what kind of metallic it's going to have. Yeah, purple or blue, purple, blue. I don't know if that's copper or red or what, but that's got a nice, pretty uh, shimmer to it. I think the. I don't know, but that one's pretty. And this one it did um, when I depending on how I how I smooth out um, my wash it is it is spreading really well on this paper it is moving very well so um, there's that so they seem to be um, working um, again, I can't remember if they're permanent or not um, Oh, that's even an even darker purple. That's interesting. It's like a dark periwinkle. Looks like it's going to have um, maybe a silver overtone to it. I don't know. We're going to have to see how it dries. Huh. And I have one more. Thank you, Lane. Thanks for coming, hon. I'll see you later. I'll make uh, regular swatches of these later, but that, all of those colors mixed together so far has made a really pretty, uh, like a, I don't even know, like a blackberry wine color. You can't, I don't know if you can see it, but it is, it is super pretty. <laughs> so all the colors together don't make brown. <laughs> Um, okay, this has got some red in it, or pink, whichever, I'm not sure which, but, uh, alright, this has got silver on top, this one is very close to that one, but this one has the silver overtone, and this one has the blue overtone. Okay. Um, let me put this over there. hands. <laughs> They're shiny. <laughs> um, let's see what this, um, there's a whole bunch of the colors all mixed together. Let's see what uh, dog hair uh, included. This is going to be very blue based. 
what I want to see is, so it's made a pretty color, but um, I want to let this dry. Let's see if it re-wets, I wonder. But I want to put a little bit of, I want to see if I can. Um, let's mix. So let's put a little bit of this. Oh, is it this one? Yeah, this one. A little bit of this one. I need a, I guess I need to get um, some little tiny spoons or just use my brush, whichever. I'm going to see what happens if I can recreate this color in the jar. <laughs> Mad scientist over here. Don't look. If you're OCD, this is not for you. Probably needs a little bit of red or a little bit of brown added to it. So let's just do that. Um, while these dry up, let's put a little bit of this one in there. just see what happens shall we what's the worst that can happen yeah I need some of that coral color this is a little bit of the Lucky Shamrock Green in there. And then just a tad bit of yellow. <laughs> no, I didn't make mud. That's the whole thing. I didn't make mud. In my jar, I do not have mud. So that's why I'm I'm uh, tempting the gods. The fate of gods. You'd think I'd make mud, but I did not make This is not mud. It's like a blackberry color. See? It's like a blackberry color, not mud. Ha! Huh. Now that is one very pretty color. I got to tell you. I'm, I got to tell you. Look at that. It's, it's, it's not. It's... <laughs> It's not an ugly color. <laughs> it is not a. It is not an ugly color. It is so so pretty. Let me get some more water. Get it nice and juicy. This is what we made. It is a nice gray purpley brown. It's uh. Yeah, we're gonna see what it dries up like just because we can or I can look at that yes that is a nice neutral not even mud it's pretty it's it's a it's like a, a black berry current color it's uh yeah look at that that is pretty I don't care what y'all say it probably even could have used a little more yellow 
to let that dry. In the meantime, we'll look at that in a minute. That over there. Let's go back to our first page, shall we? And see. Okay, so I was right. The green, the, the, the blue or teal is your overtone on the green. See? And you, again, you get the, the silver uh, on, the, on this one brown. Um, this one is like straight up copper. Like the color uh, is very copper based, but the overtone is copper as well. Uh, I don't know if you're getting it. There we go. See? And then here's our coral. Now this one... It's a very good, nice, pretty coral color, and I would say that the overtone is like, I would say, I think the, 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 the shimmer is like a pink. Um, yeah, it's just pretty. It's just pretty. Yeah, I like them. Okay. Where'd that other one just, where'd I put, oh, here. So this one, this is that magenta color, definitely pink um, on the overtone. Um, this one is purple with blue. See a flash on there. And this one is purple with purple. This one is periwinkle with blue. See? This one is a very nice uh, cerulean blue with uh, a blue uh, shimmer. And got a lot of nice blues, blue colors. I like them. Um, this one is a periwinkle um, with a silver overtone, I would say. Let's see? And then this one, this one is going to be a blue. Um, yeah, it's going to be... If you look at it, the overtone is going to be blue. The, the shimmer is going to be blue. So it's a dark periwinkle with a blue overtone. And then this baby is definitely turning purple. And if I added a little more brown to this, you know what this would be like? If I added even more brown to this, and you guys always ooh and ah about a couple of the colors in my palette, but if I added more brown to this, it would be very much like that, only shimmery. This is, this is one of everybody's favorite uh, neutral colors that I paint with. I'm just saying. I know my neutrals people. Yeah, no, I don't know if it's rose gold. It might be rose gold on that one, but it, I think it might be, maybe it's a mix of rose gold and pink because it's very, very shimmery. Now this is on there. Um, and we're gonna use we're gonna use all new stuff on Saturday. We're gonna use new new watercolors. We're gonna use my new papers. Let's see how permanent these babies are. Let me get some fresh water. They might be permanent. I, I don't know. They said I thought it said it wasn't permanent, but okay. So it moves a little bit. It is mostly permanent, though. Look at that. Let's do one that's um really super dry. Let's go over here to this one. This yellow is super dry. So it's. While it's while it's wet, just like with magicals, it's movable. But see, when it's dry, 
that's nice. When it's dry, it's it's dry. Except for the shimmer. Now I might be taking the shimmer off. That might be a prop. That might be an issue. Um, but let's see. Let's let's just see. Let's um, give this a good rubbing. Now let's dry it. Because typically, shimmers and metallics, they need a binder to stick. And I'm wondering if the binder for the, if the metallics don't have a binder in them. And that, because um, here it moved and it didn't come back. So I'm thinking that's what's not permanent. While the color is, the binder is not um, permanent for the metallics. So that you would have to... If you wanted it, if uh, if you were to put something um, over it or something, yeah, you lose the metallic if you go over it. So just keep that in mind that you would have to use a fixative if you wanted to go over it if you didn't, and you didn't want to lose the, the shine. That's the only thing. So the, 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 the shimmer is not permanent, whereas the, the color it, itself is. Um, yeah, so we will use these on Saturday. I love this color. So now I'm going to have to remember I can make my own color. This is a pretty deep, dark, current blackberry. It's a pretty, pretty color. Just saying. Lots of shimmer. So, yeah. Yeah, we will definitely use some of these on Saturday. Okay. But now, I'll just re-wet in my palette. Oh, yeah. This doesn't like to move on paper, which is fine. A lot of, a lot of shimmer with, uh, on there. Yeah, the shimmer doesn't have a binder, but that's okay. That's when you get out your spray fixative. For your, yeah, when you fix them up, you want to go over what you've already put down. So these got to be, if you're going to do your coloring, you got to do it last, which you typically would anyway, uh, in most cases, uh, usually. <laughs> okay, so that is, that was my haul. Um... Are there any questions from anybody before I go or anything you want to uh, see really quick before I go again or anything you want me to test or combine or mix or See, I think my, my chat seems to be. Um, yeah, so we will use this stuff. We'll use all new stuff on Saturday as much as possible. Definitely going to trust, uh, try out these mediums, see how if I like them better. Hopefully the clear didn't get too yuckified because it had to travel and got busted open. Well, not busted open, but the cap got, it's like it got pressure, pressure, it pressure popped or something. And that might very well have been, um, you know, so, yeah. But, if I like it, um, I think it's cheaper. Where's my receipt again? 
I think it was cheaper than um, than uh, Fenna Bears. Let me just see. So this is okay. So this is uh, how many ounces is this? Uh, so 500 milliliters, and this is 250 milliliters. Now this is roughly, I will say like 12 dollars, right? For 250. So for half half of this, I, I pay about like 12 bucks, right? So, and I paid for like two dollars more, I get twice as much in the the 13 arts. Yeah, it's 13 Arts is located in Poland. Um, yeah, Rock Warclaw, Poland is where they're at. And you can go to 13arts.com and order from them. Um, yeah, like I said, the prices were great. Um, their, ser their customer service was great. Um, and, and for that big box, I only paid um, $24 in shipping. Um, so I didn't think that was too bad considering the weight and the size that they were, uh, and all that they were sending me $24 come all the way from over there and all that. So, um, yeah, I, I would order from them again, as long as I like, um, their, uh, and these are highly recommended by Marini. So, um, as long as I like these, um, I, I would definitely order from them again. Um, and we'll, we'll do a project on Saturday using all the new products um, for sure. So we'll see how it goes, right? So I am gonna go. I'm gonna. I got more cards to finish up from yesterday's uh, stream and get those out. I want to get them out next week. I'm gonna get a book of stamps and stuff. So and I will see you guys on on Saturday, 12:30 Central Standard Time. And uh, you guys have a great evening. Patty Tolly Parish is coming on tonight. Um, she is debut uh, doing um. A stencil, um, I stencils is having their big sale uh, again, 25% off all stencils. You get a free stencil with your order and uh, free U.S. shipping with orders over $50. Um, so check her out. Uh, she'll be um, doing streams all week, uh, sharing a lot of the stencils that they have. Um, and if you, uh, like I said, if you order, you get a free stencil and 25% off the whole site, regardless if it's, if you're just ordering patties or not, um, they have great service and, um, uh, they have, uh, if you're out of the U S they do have uh, good shipping rates, um, for that. So yeah, she's coming on now. So I'm going to go ahead and go and hop on over there and see her and see what she's doing. So you guys have a great evening. Um, Email me if you have any other questions, and I will see you guys on Saturday. All righty, people. Stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, stay artsy, my friends. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.